Okay, yes. Sure. Last Thanks. one, and then let's go to our to, to the next briefing. Okay, I, I, well, there, there are two interconnected questions. One has to do with, with the audit, um, and, and there's a whole section on, there, there's, obviously there's a section on this event that was, was uh, allowed to take place in the visitor's lobby, but there's another uh, paragraph, paragraph 20B, where it talks about uh, there is no ev evidence of due diligence checks by DPI and Global Sustainability Foundation sponsoring the event, unveiling of the Ark of Return Permanent Memorial, 25 March 2015, the thing that's out where you come into the GA. There's no co then strangely there's no kind of cost on that. There's no they don't say they focus on sixty thousand dollars that they gave for a, for a meal for the Ark of Return. But if they were the sponsors of the event. How, it's, why is that money not, not put in to the audit? And why, basically the $60,000 the audit says was, was spent according to plan to fundraise for the, for, for the Ark of Return. But what is sponsorship of the outdoor ceremony that the Secretary General and his spouse attended? Many people were there. If they sponsored it, how much did they pay? And, and why is that not in the audit? Uh, the audit speaks for itself. I, I don't uh have any details on how the audit is written and how it's prepared, but we stand by the professionalism of those who prepared it. Right, but I mean, it seems that's a fair question. If you, have num if you, if you give numbers for one event that, that you're saying was on the level, there's obviously a number to this other event. What's the number? The, the details in the audit, uh, like I said, speak for themselves, and, and we're following up on, on what their recommendations are. And the Secretary General's presence in the South-South Award uh, program book of, of September 2015, um, can you, what, one, I've already asked why it's not in the audit, but I wanted to know from you, what was the arrangement? I mean, like, how, how does an outside group or like South South Awards uh, get this, get, get the ability and the permission to, to put this in their, in their book? Well, photographs of the Secretary General are in the public domain. I wouldn't be able to speak to how any different publication uses his image or his likeness in, 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 their, in their publications. Given that he sent Christina Gayach to speak for him at the event, I guess could you, maybe you don't know it offhand, but can you, what was the arrangement between the Secretariat, the Executive Office of the Secretariat, and the South South Awards for the event, the speech, being in the book? Like it doesn't, it's not, I don't think they, they used it without consent, given that he sent Ms. Gayach to speak for him at the event. Like that wasn't random. So can you, I mean, I'm, I'm not assuming that you would know necessarily right away, but, but can you find that out? I'm asking that. We can check. And the other thing is you'd said before, this is the related question, you had said, I had asked you and you said you would check whether, whether Mr. Malay for the Secretary General had received this April 5th letter from the Government Accountability Project saying that the eviction of my office is a retaliation for corruption reporting. And you would said you would check, it was on April 6th when you allowed uh, Reuters for Anka to say Anka is not corrupt and you said I will check to see if this letter is received. So has it been received? We're, we're aware of the letter, I don't know whether it was formally received or not. Have a good weekend, everyone. Thank you.